I want to talk a little bit about what I think is the most important issue that's affecting all of us in District G, and that is crime. Uh, most everyone you talk to, and we've knocked on thousands of doors, and I personally have talked to thousands of District G residents, and it's the same situation uh, four years ago as it is today. People are concerned about crime. How do we deal with it? Well, there's two issues there. One is you got to prevent crime before it happens. And how do you do that? That's called deterrence. And the second issue is once somebody has committed a crime and has been arrested, you can't just release them back onto the street to allow them to commit crime again. And I have a plan for both of those particular components of crime in the city. But let's focus on deterrence. What is deterrence? Well, deterrence means simply that, that a, a criminal or potential criminal thinks it's not safe for him or her to commit a crime in a particular area, so they don't do it. They go elsewhere. Now, what does that mean where the rubber meets the road? Well, think about driving down Memorial, and you drive down by the police memorial uh, there, and you see a police car. Now, even though you, you know intellectually there's probably no one in that car because that police car is parked there all the time, you still check your speedometer to make sure that you're not speeding. That's Basic deterrence. Sometimes people who can't afford a home a security system will still put out in front of their house a sign that says this house is protected by this particular security company. That's deterrence. So what does that mean to us? Well, what that means to us is we need more police on the streets, patrolling in the community on a non-routine basis so the criminals do not know exactly when they're going to be there, but they know that they are there at times. And that will in encourage criminals or people that are intending to engage in criminal activity to go elsewhere. Now, how do we make that happen? Well, I want to let you know about something. You know, 25 years ago, we had 350 more police officers on the street than we do today. Now, think about that. The budget 25 years ago was $2.4 billion. That means that's how much money the city spent on every service that it provides. Nowadays, the budget is $6.2 billion. So in 25 years, we've went down in the number of police officers patrolling the streets, but yet the budget has increased and the money that the city is spending has increased by almost three times. That should tell you that the city does not prioritize public safety, and we are going to change that. I'm going to beat that drum and blow that horn until the mayor of this city gets the message that we will no longer tolerate crime throughout our communities in our neighborhoods. We should be feeling safe in our home. We should feel safe to go to the grocery store. We should feel safe to take our child to school. We should feel safe to walk in our neighborhoods at night. And we're going to do better because we are failing the residents of the city of Houston. And when I'm the council member, we will not fail. And so I look forward to continuing this dialogue about policing because it's incredibly important, but it's not rocket science. At its core, you need more police on the street and we have fewer than we had 25 years ago. We need at least and remember this number, we need at least 1,500 more. That means over the next four years, we need to hire at least 500 to 750 to get those numbers back up so the criminals that come specifically to Houston, that target Houston, there's people that come from all over the state and all over the country that target Houston because they know that Houston, a, a large metropolitan city, has fewer police than does Chicago and other large cities, fewer police per capita, and we have to put more police on the street. We have to train them. We have to treat them right. We have to respect them, let them do their jobs. And when they arrest someone, we have to keep them in jail. And that's what I'm planning on doing as your next council member.